from the Mon Valley to the Super Bowl. Former Clareton and Pitt football star Tyler Boyd will take the field on Sunday with his current team, the Cincinnati Bengals. And he'd be the first to tell you that he owes much of his success to his mother. And it turns out he's not the only young man who credits his mom for their success. Rich Walsh is here with the story of Tanya Payne, Super Mom. Rich. Well, guys, most people in Western Pennsylvania will watch the Super Bowl on Sunday night, but few will be watching as intently as Tyler Boyd's mother, Tanya. She and her family will be at the game in L.A., but before they left for California, she spent some time with me reminiscing about how her son, who made the journey from the humble streets of Clareton to the biggest stage in all of sports. This is him. But this is here. him uh, preschool. He's four. He's four. only four in that picture. Four or five, yep. Tyler Boyd's mother, Tanya, has many fond memories of her son's days as a youth football player. She watched him progress from Clareton High School to the Pitt Panthers and now on to the Super Bowl this weekend with the Cincinnati Bengals. It makes me really proud. You know, um, you know, they always say, oh, well, put, you know, pat yourself on the back or, you know, I just did what I thought I was supposed to do as a mom. But it wasn't always easy. Tanya raised three boys as a single parent. Their father was not a part of the family while his son was making a name for himself on the football field. Just as Tyler was winning championships at Clarendon, his dad was convicted on drug charges and sentenced to 10 years in prison. Tanya fought hard to keep her boys on the right track. I can't teach them to be what I'm not. I'm not a man. So, you know, all I could do was really teach them what type of man they should be. It was just, you know, trying to make sure they understood this is the path you need to be on, not, you know, in the street. Because um, that was a reality, you know, not just in the neighborhood that we lived in, but um, their dad, you know, he ended up in the street. So it's a reality. Unfortunately, that reality hasn't changed for kids growing up in Clareton. And that's why Tanya is still in charge of the Western Pennsylvania Youth Athletic Association. The organization's goal is to help kids stay focused on sports and schoolwork while keeping them off the streets. It's great to see the kids who come through our program excel on the high school level. Um, a lot of kids are signing letter of, letters of intent, going on to college. It's just knowing that you could come through our program and whether you make it to the NFL or not, you at least got a college education that you're going to be able to fall back on. And, Education is the most important thing. As a former teacher, Tanya knows a thing or two about the importance of education. And I say former teacher because Tyler's success in the NFL has allowed his mom to retire and relax, except, of course, when she's putting in the work to help other young athletes become as successful as her son. For KDK News, I'm Rich Walsh.